but pretending to be leaders and statesmen. How does Ruto go to Germany and talk about attracting German foreign investment to Kenya? Know very well that back at home, he has put in place a machinery for victims for vicious attack on local investments. In the age of climate change, how does Ruto sanction the setting of, of trees on fire and still hope to convince us that is committed to mitigating climate change and ensuring green growth. Why would foreign leaders and businesses entertain such a conflicted personality? Let there be no confusion here. Violence has been Ruto's talk in trade against Kenyans whenever Kenyans have sought to change their lot, and what happened yesterday is not any different. The invasion of land, slaughter, and scattering away of animals, attack on business premises, the burning of homes, and touching places of worship has been at the heart of Ruto regard the operations against progressive dating back to the days of the clamor for multipartism to date.